Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's chapel service. Again, I'm Pastor Ben, and I'm so glad to be able to have another opportunity to worship our amazing God with you, to sing songs of praise to him, to pray to God knowing that he hears and answers our prayers in love, and to be able to share a message from God's word in the Bible with you. Today in the Bible, Jesus teaches us how to show his love to other people even when it's really hard to do. Jesus once said, love your enemies. And we're going to talk about why that's hard to do and how we can do that with our Savior's help. So let's begin today as we always do. If you would please fold your hands and we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's sing our first song. Let's sing the B-I-B-L-E. Today I've got something to show you. Can you see what this is? It's a headlamp. It's kind of like having a flashlight on top of your head. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And it's also very useful. You know when it's especially useful? <laughs> That's right, when it's dark outside. When it's dark outside, then this headlamp, the light, it guides my way. Wherever I turn my head, wherever I go, the light leads the way. And you know what? It's especially when it's dark out that other people notice and appreciate the light. It helps them to see where they're going too. Well, today in God's Word in the Bible, Jesus wants to guide us so that we know how to treat other people. He wants to guide us so that we know how to show love even to people who are difficult. What Jesus wants to do is to help us learn how we can let the light of our faith shine in this world so that other people can see just how special and amazing the love of Jesus is. Because you're probably starting to learn that this world can be kind of a dark place because of sin, right? Like not everybody out there in the world believes in God. There are people who don't believe in Jesus as their Savior. They aren't filled with God's love in their hearts. There are people out there who can be very selfish. There are people who can say and do some very mean things. There are people who sometimes get really, really angry. There are people who don't know how to forgive. There are people who don't know what love looks like. But of course, it's not just people out there. Sometimes we are also tempted to say and do things that aren't loving, aren't we? With things that are mean. Sometimes we're even tempted to maybe yell at or hit or hold a grudge or even hate somebody else. For example, when I was a boy, I remember getting a skateboard and I was so excited to have my own skateboard. But after having it just one day, I left it outside in the front yard of our house. And the next day when I went to go play with my new skateboard, it was nowhere to be found. Someone had stolen my skateboard. And I remember just being so upset and so angry about this, thinking like if I could just find this person, I'd, I'd want to go and punch him and get back at them and make them pay. 
It was the one skateboard I was ever going to have, and somebody stole it. Well, that wasn't very nice of them, was it? But should I have been thinking about getting even with them and making them pay? No. That's not how God wants his children to act, even though that might be what other people think that you, know, you should do or that people should do. Like if somebody hurts you, you have a right to hurt them back. But that's not how God would have us act as his children. And that's why today we want to listen to Jesus who's going to teach us what love looks like even when we feel wronged. Okay, because we do know the love of Jesus, don't we? And, and how blessed we are because we do. We know that Jesus showed his love for us and for every single person on this planet when he died on the cross to pay for all our sins. He took all our sins away, even though we didn't deserve it. That's amazing love, isn't it? And he's still going to continue to love us, even when some days were unlovable. He's going to continue to love you later today, even though he knows that you're not going to make it through the whole day without sinning. That's great, great love, isn't it? So here's our Bible story today. In Matthew chapter 5, it tells us that Jesus went up on a mountain. And there on the side of the mountain, Jesus sat down to teach his disciples and other people who believed in him. Okay, just like us. It would be nice if we could all, all be outside together and have a chapel service together and enjoy the sunshine and the fresh air. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But Jesus wasn't just out there to enjoy the beautiful weather and the day. He was there to teach his disciples and those other people to show them how God's children should behave. He was going to teach them how to love other people, to show them what love looks like uh, in in this world. And so here's what Jesus said. He said to them, You have heard it said, or you know that it's wrong to murder, right? Like, do not murder. You're not supposed to. You know that, right? But I'm telling you that it's also wrong to hate others. It's wrong to hate others. Just like murder is wrong, it's wrong to hate others. And then Jesus said, most people think it's okay to get even with others and to make them pay, to hurt them back if they hurt you. But I'm telling you that it's wrong to get even with others. It's wrong to get even with others. Then Jesus said, most people know that they should love their family and friends who are nice to them, right? But I'm also telling you that You should love your enemies. That's right, to love your enemies. Like the person who stole my skateboard, right? And then Jesus said, instead of trying to get even with others, you should pray for people who are mean to you because that's how you can show God's love to all people. Jesus said, after all, God makes the sun to rise and beautiful sunsets for everybody to enjoy, whether they deserve it or not. And then he said, you are God's children. Be loving and forgiving towards everyone, just as God is towards you. This is how other people will see the light of God's love shining in this dark world when you love not just your friends or your family members who are nice to you and love you back, But when you love and pray for even those people who have wronged you or who have been mean to you. So, what should I have done with that person who stole my skateboard? Well, maybe instead of thinking about how I could get even with that person and get them back and make them pay, maybe I should have been praying for them, right? Perhaps then, too, I wouldn't have been so angry. So here's one more example to think about. Do you see what's going on here in this picture? There are two little boys 
fighting over this little red bucket. The boy with the blonde hair is trying to, to take the bucket away from that other boy with the blue hat on his head. And that's not very nice of him to do, is it? It's actually quite, quite mean. He shouldn't be doing that. Well, what's the best possible thing that could happen here? Well, the best thing that could happen would be if that first little boy, the one who's trying to take the bucket away, if, if he could see that he was doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing or making the other little boy upset, that he should say, I'm sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be taking your bucket. I'm, I'm sorry. And then what should the other boy do? He should say, I forgive you. Right? That's the best possible thing that could happen there. And then in, instead of being angry with each other, maybe instead they could agree to share the bucket or to take turns playing with it or to play nicely together. That would be so much better than, than fighting or, or stealing somebody else's toy, wouldn't it? Because then instead of treating each other like enemies, they could begin to experience more of God's goodness together as friends. After all, like Jesus said, God makes the sun to rise and beautiful sunsets for everybody to enjoy, whether we deserve it or not. Let's go to our God and pray. We pray, dearest Jesus, Thank you for showing us what love looks like. Even though we didn't deserve it, you died on the cross to forgive us all our sins. So even though we aren't perfect people, we know that we are perfectly loved by you, our Savior. Guide us now to live the way you want us to live. Help us to let the light of our faith shine by loving all people even when it's hard. And we need your help to do that, Lord. Today we pray for those people that we sometimes have a hard time loving, especially people who act mean. Change their hearts, Lord, and fill them and us with love for you and each other. Amen. Let's sing God Loves Me Dearly. God loves me dearly, gives me salvation. God loves me dearly, loves even me. Therefore, I'll say again, God loves me dearly. God loves me dearly, loves even me. He sent forth Jesus that true. Well, we're almost done with today's chapel service, but there's one more very special thing that I get to do with and for you today, and that's to announce to you the blessing of our gracious God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen. Let's sing our final song. Let's sing hallelujah, hallelujah.
Happy Friday, everybody, and thanks for coming to chapel today. Thank you, Pastor Ben, for sharing a message with God's Word today. That was awesome. Let's sing happy birthday to some people this week. Uh, there are some people who have birthdays this week and next week during our Thanksgiving break. So I know it's Spirit Week, so I'm dressed like an 80s person uh, because I recorded this yesterday, but let me put on my sweet birthday sunglasses and let's sing some happy birthdays to people, okay? Sing along with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nicole. Maximus, Fiorella, Gabriel, Gabriella, Michael, and Daisy. Happy birthday to you. Have a fantastic Friday and a great weekend. See you later.